Welcome back to another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. Today we're going to be talking about snapshots. Now we've covered snapshots in previous episodes, but everything we've done has always revolved around that web CLI. Well, today we're going to go behind the scenes and see what we can accomplish with snapshots as far as creating and listing out different snapshots, all from the command line. So get ready to follow along by opening up your command prompt. Once we're logged into the CLI, we can use our Izzy snapshot snapshots list to list out all our snapshots. And so you can see our ID, name, and path here. And so what if we want to get some more details on this? We can use the Izzy snapshot snapshots view, and we're going to pull in that specific ID. So the ID I want to pull is number two, which corresponds to the NASA snaps. So when we run that command, what we can look at and we can see that ID. But we can also see the path, so we know that it's on the IFS NASA directory. We can see when it expires. We can also see the size and some other information too. Now let's create a one-time snap using the command line. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to use our Izzy snapshot snapshots create command. And so what we're going to do with that is we're going to pick a path. So we've already got a snapshot schedule set up for the NASA directory. But what I want to do is I want to set one up for the videos directory. So I'm going to put the absolute path, and so that's the IFS forward slash videos. And then we'll also pass in our name. The name I'm going to use is the video snaps. Now with that complete, let's list out our snapshots and see if our one-time snap was taken. And remember, that's Izzy snapshot snapshots list. So let me take out that S. That was how we take a one-time snap. What happens when we want to set a schedule up for our snapshots? Before we set up that snapshot schedule, I want to reference the CLI guide. And so in the CLI guide here, you can see a table with all these different percentage and letters. I'm going to reference these as we're creating that snapshot schedule. This is going to be a way for us to be able to name how we want to show the time date stamp on our snapshot schedules. Our snapshot schedule we're going to create is going to be for the IFS videos directory, but we want to set a schedule instead of just a one-time snap. So we're going to use the Izzy snapshot schedules create I'm going to pass in our name so video snaps we're going to keep that as the name for this one and we're going to do ifs videos that's our directory now we're going to pass in video dash percentage c and that's going to give us the year month day of the week hour minute and second for each time the snap is taken the percentage c is where i was talking about use the table that we had just looked at to be able to pass that in now we're going to select every day every hour so I want to snap every day of every hour and the last parameter we're going to pass in is going to be the duration that duration is going to be when do we want it to expire so I'm going to let these snaps be okay for a year they're going to roll off in a FIFO fashion every year now we can create that schedule and we want to view it so to view it we're going to use the Izzy snapshot schedules list you can see we have two schedules here the video snap that we just created and one we previously had for our NASA snapshots. And so now let's view the details. So Izzy snapshot schedules view and then the ID number, so three. And now we can see we have an ID number of three. That's our absolute path. And we have that snapshot schedule happening every day of every hour and the duration is for one year. We didn't specify an alias, and we can see when it's going to run next. So that's how you view snapshots from the command line, how you create one-time snaps, and even set up snapshot schedules all from the command line. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss an episode of Isilon Quick Tips or more videos around big data and Hadoop.